Lewis. What can I do for you? Oh, well, I just came in to bring you this and this and all of these. Those are the last seven Todd Smiths you evaluated. Donna. Seven. And you didn't cut one of them loose. You heard me, Malone. I did. And you're cutting this guy loose just to spite him. That's ridiculous. Okay. So this has nothing to do with Malone? Nothing. Where'd you get that? Oh, come on, you know where I got it. Louis. I know he took your dream. I mean, she didn't even consider me. She just brings him in to have me train him and gives him the corner office. I appreciate you letting me know about Lewis, but I'm not going to do that. Well, why not? Jeff Malone just got here. Because I said so. Now, if you'll excuse me. You're sleeping with him. What? Of course. That glow, the morning meetings, you had Harvey take your lunch. How could I miss it? I'm losing my edge. Donna, there's nothing going on between You're not losing your edge. But I ended my relationship with Jeff Malone the day that I hired him. And I respect that. But you said you make decisions based on what's best for the firm. Isn't giving Lewis his dignity back good for the firm? I gave this office to Jeff because I wanted him to feel valued here. But the truth is, I... I should have given it to you. No. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. All right, let it. <laughs> Louis, we talked about this. It's just so weird seeing him in my old office, you know? It's like when you drive by the house he grew up in and there's another family in there and all you want to do is break in and make yourself soup. You know that feeling? Well, it depends on the soup. Mushroom barley. Then no. Hey, did you get him that apology gift I told you to get him? Except instead of scotch, I got his two front row tickets to the ballet. Oh. Well, it's a thought that counts. I'm going to let it go that you're choosing basketball over uh, Giselle. But I really need to make this up to you, Jeff. I, I can't be in the red. I am always, always in the black. And I don't mean that in a racial sense. Well, now that you mention it, I could really use some advice. About a case? About Jessica. I just pulled Adam Greaves, his opposing counsel. Long story short, he hates me. And I could really use Jessica's help to run some interference, but I'm the new guy. It's only my second case, and I don't know what to do. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you front row tickets to Jessica Pearson's help. Lewis is a very interesting guy. Did you know he's never eaten an olive? I did not, but I do know you fed him some bullshit. That doesn't sound like me. Really? Because he thinks we need to work together because there's bad blood between you and Adam Greaves. I don't like to talk about it. Of course not, because you and Adam Greaves play basketball every Wednesday. What happens on the court, Jessica, stays on the court. And I thought I was clear about boundaries. Well, listen, if that's really how you feel, why don't you just tell Lewis that you want to bow out because you don't trust yourself around me? Yeah, I didn't think so. See you tomorrow. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was just getting up to speed. You brought Lewis in. Of course. Three heads are better than two, unless you have an objection. No. Are you kidding me? I would never turn down a threesome. Right, buddy? I hear you. Good. Because Jessica and I were just having a little difference of opinion about what to do next. Yes, and I'm sure Lewis, the man that I hired, the man who owes his very career to me, will see things my way. Well, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Oh, Lewis, you're not stepping on anyone's toes here. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, I think you're an amazing attorney who doesn't owe anyone anything. Ooh, do you work out? <laughs> I, you know, I try to stay fit. Try. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Can we get to the point? Lou, Lewis? Jeff and I have two different approaches to this case. Exactly. Go for the knockout punch or bore them to death. Oh, well, you frame it that way. I can't believe you're using that old debate team trick. Farm boy strong. That's what you are. Jessica, what debate team trick? Calling my approach bore them to death and yours a knockout punch. And you're really good at this. So you, have you done this before? Sure I have. Look, Jessica, you can make assumptions about how this farm boy is going to come down on this all you want to, but 
I think we all pretty much know he's playing on my team. Jeff, you're right. You are right, and in fact, I think that because you and Lewis see eye to eye on this case, that you should work together, and I should bow out. You actually think that bothers me? Because now I've got this farm boy all to myself, Jess. Just you and me, cowboy. It's like Ernie and Bert. Jeff Malone is in love with me. What? I was just in a meeting with him, and he started off by patting my shoulder. He's a jock, Lewis. That's just how they are. No. He was then rubbing my shoulders, then he touched my arm. He's all over me. Wow, what was that meeting about? It doesn't matter, Donna. His arguments are loaded with double meaning. Who invokes the penal code in an SEC case? He said penal? Three times. The third time, we were just talking about the Glass-Steagall Act, which is purely civil. And it's, God damn it, woman, do I have to draw you a map? I mean, come to think of it, athletes coming out is all the rage now. And guess what his favorite sport is? Basket, ball. Oh, my God. Shut the front door. No, I want to shut the back door. OK, Lewis, now that we've firmly established his gayness, why would he think you're gay? I mean, you're straight as an arrow. I may have said that I eat cock for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What? But it was a different kind of cock, Don. I okay, wasn't... Lewis, what exactly do you want from me? I want you to tell me what I should do about it. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do about it. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, don't give him anything back. He'll get the message. It'll pass. <laughs> Then I don't think you understand the power of my sexuality. What are you doing? Oh, you know, it's just a little something for your file. I have a file? That information's classified. Wait, why? It's in your file. Oh, shit. Couple things. It's Porter's birthday. I got him that weird zucchini cake he likes from the Bronx. Okay. Somebody returned Stuntman's chair. It was missing? And the no questions asked memo in the kitchen worked. What, did it stop? Oof, it's not important. None of these things are important. Oh, and one more thing. Lewis thinks Malone is in love with him. Your secret's safe. And you're welcome. Hey, Lewis. You have a minute? Oh, it's about all I have, because I'm uh, super, super busy. Yeah, well, listen, I just wanted to check in and see if you're ready to pull an all-nighter. I just got all the brokerage tapes in, and I figured we could just grind it out. Tonight? Tonight. Unless you want to go right now and just pound it out all at once. OK, that's it. I mean, you have got this all wrong. Jeff, I like you as a friend. Right, Lewis. I like you, too. I think I've made that perfectly clear. Too clear, man. Too clear. I mean, enough with the come-ons already. What? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I get it. You know, we're a perfect match. You know, if you go that way, ebony and ivory. But I play a different instrument, so. Oh, Lewis, no. Look, I, it's, look it's just that I, I just don't, I don't want there to be, you know, just awkwardness, especially since Jessica just bowed out and it's just me and you now. Right. Well, now that you've seen right through me, Lewis, I... I am disappointed. Are you going to be OK? To be honest, I'm feeling a little raw right now. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I think you're making excuses for keeping me out of your life, Jessica, and I'm calling you on it. Oh, what the hell is that supposed to mean? It means that I'm making you a promise, all right? That no one, no one will ever find out about us. So if that's what you're really afraid of, if that's what's truly holding you back, then it is off the table. Listen, Lewis. Everything you told me was bullshit. You're not trying to get into my pants. You're trying to get into Jessica's. I thought you can move your way up the ladder and you use my friendship to cozy up to her. Lewis, that's just not true. Well, then what is it? Why did you lie to me to get me off this case? Tell me what I'm missing here. Jeff. That's what I thought. Lewis, please. For once, I let my guard down and believed that someone genuinely liked me without a hidden agenda. 
I will not make that mistake again.